Hi, and welcome to this fifth short tutorial on collecting information about a household, number of women in your household, or pregnant and lactating women that are in your household. Um, and we've already gone over typical constraints, okay? So um, what are they allowed to enter into each of these questions? And we've also gone over relevancies, okay? What, um, what does a previous answer have to be in order for this follow-up question to appear? Okay, so we don't want how many pregnant women are in your household if there are no women in the household. Okay, so the number of women must be greater than zero if we then ask about how many pregnant women. Uh, in the same way, um, we've also said you must have, or if you have over nine people in your household, then we're going to ask you a follow-up question. That's a lot of people. Are you sure? Um, I'm just going to show you one more thing, how to um, tell the person what they entered um, previously. So in uh, this question, maybe what we want to say, uh, instead of saying that's a lot of people, we could remind them, hey, you entered 11 people, or you entered 29 people, or you entered 4,000 people, and that's a lot of people. Uh, so it's really, really easy to do this. You entered... And then we just put the dollar sign, an open curly bracket, and we refer back to num underscore hh. Okay, so that's the name. Um, you entered uh, num household, so if that's nine, so you enter, or ten, you entered ten people in this household. That's a lot of people, are you sure? And then when this question actually shows up in, uh, in your ODK form, whatever number that they entered here, NumHH, will actually replace this and it will show up, you entered 10 people in this household or you entered 4,000 people in this household. That's a lot of people, are you sure? And that's just a way to refer back and tell them what they entered previously, tell them what doesn't make sense. Um, uh, and that can be... Uh, easier for the data collector to, under, to understand um, what went wrong because maybe they entered 4,000 and they didn't know that they entered 4,000, okay? So you're just going to tell them you entered 4,000. Oh, that was a mistake. I meant to enter four. Uh, and so then they can go back and change the answer. Okay, that's, uh, that's it for the tutorials on this short, um, on this short form. Yeah.